Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me have you walk over here so I don't so I don't Oh my god. For the love of God, he's massive. I was expecting a younger a puppy. How old is he? He'll be two in June. He'll be two years? In June. Okay. I don't know why I thought he was an eight-month-old dog. He's humongous. Handsome. Okay. Now he's a borble, yes? yes? Okay. Where did he come from? I got him from uh, North Houston actually. Good sit. Oh man, he's got an intense look about him. Now let me, may I ask you, is he is he friendly? Yeah. So he's just looking at me because he's he's he is it's more or less he hears the dogs? Yes sir. Different place? Yes sir. He's very, very friendly. Oh my dog. god. Yeah. Oh my god. I lost my train of thought. He's gorgeous. Got he's got a big part of the expression, he's got a big ass chest on him. It's massive. That neck, he's gorgeous. So he's behaving pretty well right now. Yes. So it's, it, I, I could actually say this is the video of you picking him up. People are gonna be impressed. They're like, man, look, he's sitting right at his side and everything. He's done it again. Yeah. But the reality of it is, do you think he's playing a role right now or is this, am I seeing the true nature? His, his foundation is, is, is pretty decent for okay. right now. I just wanna be able to fine tune it. Okay. Um, I want him to be able to, with distractions, Okay, so that's where he fails. Is yeah. Around distractions, he doesn't yeah. pass the test. So, like, if you were to like show him any attention right now, <laughs> he, it'd be really hard for him to sit down. And okay, he'll okay. Play and Man, Cranberry's stuff, got to so. see this dog. I, 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 oh my God. Well, he's gonna see him obviously. He's staying for training. Yeah. Okay, he's got a big old head. So I don't know how to read him yet, sir. And a lot of trainers would pretend like they know. Oh, I know what he's thinking. Yeah. I don't know what this dog is thinking. I'm gonna rely on your feedback, sir. Okay. okay? So obviously, so has he ever been aggressive with anybody? Any dogs? Ever been aggressive to uh, a dog? Only dogs that's aggressive towards him. Okay, so he's not a punk. He doesn't back it down. Uh, but he, you don't think he's instigating? You don't think he's starting? No. Okay. Uh, and I can see, even though it's might, maybe hidden in the shadows for the viewers, but I can see that he still does indeed have those beautiful testicles. Oh, he's gonna show them to us. Handsome, my love. May I see them? Okay. I know, Bubba. He's thinking what? Oh, everybody's looking at them. Everybody wants to see them. Oh my. God, those big old back legs too. Oh. He's got massive muscles on those back legs, nestling those beautiful mm. testicles. Oh my God. See, this is why I like, see, all that spookiness, huh? Yeah. Is that common, sir? Yes. And that, that's Typical? Like, yeah, that's, that's uncommon. Oh, he loves showing those things off. Man, listen, man, I tell you, his back end is so massive. How much does he weigh, sir? You uh, know? 55. Man, his back legs are, I can't tell people how thick they are there. They look like gigantic, gigantic ham hog. I mean, just you, I can't. Cranberry! Huh. Cranberry's supposed to be working right now, but we, we're not gonna work right now. We're watching this dog. Wow, you have good, pretty good control. Okay, so if I bring like Maggie out or something, he loses it. He'll, he'll probably wanna play. Okay, so then in what context, so I'm a little bit confused, in what context is he, is, are, are, maybe since I have other people that reached out with me with the borbo, maybe I'm misremembering. So, is he ever ner he's nervous around dogs yes it's, what do you think he's gonna behave he's not like necessarily when nervous around dogs i think that he's, because he's still young-minded yes sir. he kind of just wants to play so i, I take him oh I take okay him to the dog park a lot i take him to all this stuff and what does he do at the dog park he runs around and plays oh we just went today okay yeah, so, so it's, it's he, one of those oh. things it's when, when another he just dog doesn't shows. listen when there's a dog around yeah sir. when there's another dog that, that oh, okay. shows may i bring a dog out sir yeah. just yeah, so we yeah, can yeah. see okay all right i just want to see okay and again, listen, there's a good, oh, look at that, substantial stream. So this, man, that dog is, hey, hold on, I got, before, let me, man, let me bring my, my main dog out, okay, so he can, he can get awestruck. Awesome. Hey, Cranberry, stop whatever the fuck you're doing. You gotta come out here and look at this dog, man. Come out here, the borble. Come look at him from Board Hood or Colleen, come on. Come on, man. Be patriotic for the love of God, this guy's out here. Serving our country, you don't even come out here and look at this gorgeous animal. For the love of God. Wow, I'm, t I'm sorry about that. I might have forgotten the whole conversation we just had. Wow, huh? They're it's a like borble. Uh, I don't think he's never seen a borble in his life. I've had the pleasure of training like three of them. And I was in the market for one. But Cranberry, that dog's got an intense look, huh? Yeah, he does. So Cranberry, in your professional opinion, does he want to fuck you up right now? <laughs> yeah. 
I think I know the answer. Dad knows. Dad thinks he knows the answer, and I think I and I believe Dad. Yeah, I'm walking in faith with Dad at the moment, Cranberry. So, what do you think, Cranberry? In your professional opinion, hey, you does his wanna eat, me, eat you? But he's he's being very still, huh? Are you comfortable enough walking up to him, Cranberry? Walking up to him? Yes, sir. You have the power of veto. <laughs> Oh, he looks like he said you look uncomfortable in your body language, cranberry. <laughs> Cause you do, cranberry. Oh shit, cranberry. You nervous? Oh <laughs> shit, cranberry. What's that, cranberry? <laughs> hey, no, he's friendly, dude. Yeah, man. It's just it's hard to tell because that that look, yeah, huh, cranberry. He you down. Cranberry, who is he? He kind of looks a little bit like Harpy, huh? Yeah. Just like five times massiver, handsome. Is this normal, sir? The way he's approaching him? Yeah. So he'll, he just cautious because he doesn't. He's like so he'll, and I'm loud too, man. I'm, come on, come on, I'm real loud. You, you don't. Oh, well, look, but look, okay, Cranberry, it does look fucked up. Stop, Cranberry. So, see, that to me looks like he's gonna, like, right, I told you. Nico, come here. Now but that looks like he wants to play now. Yeah. So now he wants to, hi, my love. Hi, baby. That's a big motherfucker. Oh, my God. Okay, will you pull him away from my beautiful testicle sack? <laughs> For the love of God, hold on, that's a big motherfucker. That's a big motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on, shit. Oh my god, Curry, he's friendly, bud. He just wants to play, he's just goofy, huh? Damn, he's thick, huh? Cranberry, I know I know you're gonna have a hard time not looking at those beautiful testicles, but look at his back legs, dude. Those back legs are, no, they're fucked. Sir, will you, do you mind turning, I, not not for the testicles, for the sake of those big, 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 thick thighs. Look at those thighs, Cranberry. Have you seen a dog with those massive ass thighs? He looks like a bull, doesn't he? No, for real, Cranberry. His back end is fucking massive. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna take pictures of your cheeks right next to those cheeks, Cranberry. <laughs> Just wait, buddy. I know, Cranberry, how, how impressive is this dog? His head is fucking massive. Hola, mi amor. Okay, so listen, he looks like he's pretty good, huh? The problem he's having is he gets, he needs the law of distraction, Cranberry. He gets distracted when a bunch of shit is happening. Yes, sir, but look. Dad's very gentle with him, got a good level of control. I just misunderstood. I thought this dog was going to be nervous and a coward, so we're probably going to do good, sir. Now, please remind me, which program are you doing, sir? Uh, we're doing the obedience. The right, is it five weeks or what? Do you remember the week? Seven. Seven? Yes. Guess what, sir? We're probably going to have to do eight or nine weeks, okay? <laughs> There's not going to be any additional charge, but thank you so much for serving our country. I appreciate it, yes? So on top of that military discount, I'm going to upgrade the program to... Um, Let's say it's gonna be like a like the eight week program, which would be about ten weeks for you. Okay, no offense, that's not a lot of dog. Okay, and I'm gonna t <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm I'm going to kick up because he's so big. I'm gonna kick up the distractions okay. because extraordinary results are going to require extraordinary effort. Yep. And I'm not sure when he's going to be able to. Ha oh, cranberry, what? he's excited. Excited. Yep. Oh, okay. No, 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 but li I don't know if that's the case because we do have a heat, a beam of heat right now, yeah, but that no. might not be the case. He might just be excited about the prospect of staying, Cranberry. <laughs> that boy's packing. Blessed. Okay. All right. There's no point in us watching, staring at that thing. Let Maggie see that thing, Cranberry. Will you bring my baby girl out, please? All right. Do, do you just handle your dog however, man, you just handle your dog however you normally handle him, sir. Okay? Sir? It's a borble, a South African Mastiff. A borble. Yeah, he's a big ass dog. You, you ought to see his beautiful testicles. <laughs> Dude, this dog's amazing, man. He's a big boy. I mean, his chest. And you know the thing about him? Is he's, it's solid, you know what I mean? Yeah, like my corso, sometimes they look a little fluffy, a little flat. Oh my God. Oh, I thought Maggie was coming out. Oh. Good, my love. Pretty. Good. Good. Good, my love. So this is where it starts to become, oh my God. Wow, look at that muscle tone, Cranberry. Man, look at that, look, he's a monster. Oh my God. What a privilege to get to handle this dog, Cranberry. What a privilege, what a blessing. Thank you for bringing him, sir. What a blessing, huh? Cranberry, dude, how blessed are we to have this dog in our program? <laughs> What an animal. Yeah. I, I'm not using the, I don't mean animal like in a bad way. You know what I mean? It just sounds like I would an animal. <laughs> but what an animal. Cranberry. That, right Cranberry? Dude. Almost like Sammy Sosa. Just looks like he's up at bat right now. Look at him. Maggie's like, Maggie's, Maggie. Oh, hey baby. 
good, my love. He and he just wants to play. Yeah. Kimber, he's big, dude. Got a big ass noodle on him. Big ass noodle. Pretty clean, huh? His house broken and all that good stuff. Yes. Does he mark? Does he hike his leg inside your place? No. Okay. So main issue is you just want to be able to have a better recall, better control over him in situations, yes? Mm -hmm. Like in this situation. You don't want him necessarily, man, he's massive. Hey, baby. I know he's big, huh? <clears throat> She's used to big ass dogs, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, now, do you think he would react the same way to a big ass male dog? You can try it. We have to be, we have to be careful yeah. because we have a female in heat, so normally Sabo's, hey, Cranberry, go bring Sabo on the leash, please. Okay. Quickly, please. Sir. Hey, good, my love. So we hold on to him because, yes, sir. There's a female in heat, so that can make them all. Uh, so I'm just gonna take collecting information, okay? I just want to see how you handle him as well, and that way I can maybe get a gauge to see if he acts hot. And also, my dog might act a little hot. He's normally very. His name is Savo. He's normally very friendly. Yes, well, he loves other dogs and he loves people. May I tell you? But there's a female in heat. That's why he probably did that. She was just out here. She's in that lobby. Just Maggie, good my love, pretty love, pretty my love, pretty my love, how pretty my love, good my love. He's amazing, man. So you've had him how long? Since how old? Uh, I got him when he was about three months old. Man, you remember the name of the place or that they're a breeder? Uh, they have. Uh, Okay. Uh, I have to, if you have their link, send it to me and I'll post okay. it in the description for people or in the comments. People are going to want to know. Hell, I want to know. He's beautiful. Good. Let me go see what, uh, what the holdup is. we got to probably keep them apart from one another for now. They will play eventually, though. This is the Ochoarca. Don't let them get close. I don't feel, I don't see any aggression on either of them. He just wants to say hi. Fuck it. He probably wants to say hi more to you than your dog, to be honest with you. Good. Awesome. Oh, they're gonna be good friends, man. Only thing I'm nervous about is him accidentally hurting him because he's got some big ass bones that chest. Got a big brisket on that dog, Canberry. That, that's a big ass dog. It's gonna be such a great joy and pleasure to train with him. So this is, is this story checks out, sir? Is this about the amount of control you have in these situations? Yeah. Okay. You're really asking a lot of me, sir, because a lot of people will be very happy with this big ass dog being in that control, but I, I'm up for the jo job. I'm up for it. You want it? Like you that, can have it. Like I said, it's, Just don't know how long it's gonna take me, sir. It's like I said, it's his foundation. It's, it's, it's solid, it's man. Solid so far. Solid as him. Feel, You've um, done a great job with him. It's just a... That head is um, but fucking leave. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just getting <laughs> caught. You know what I mean? When you're not supposed, when you're, you know what it's like. Yeah. You're out there, supposed to be paying attention to a target, but then you see the most beautiful bird in the whole wide world, and you wonder, is that a thunderbird? Is that a pterodactyl? <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. You ever have people ask you if he's a pit bull? Uh, that's if he's XL, yeah. Yeah, you know why? Because people, they lose they touch use. with reality when they see him. They yeah. start to wonder, oh shit, maybe I don't know what a pit bull is. <laughs> maybe I thought I knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's massive. Cranberry, go ahead and put him up here, sir, okay? Awesome. So you had to predict, sir. What do you think he's going to be? Has he ever boarded before? Uh, yes, at the vet. We I board every now and again at the vet. Wonderful, that's going to help us. So if you had to predict it right now, sir, do you think he's going to be hot tempered? Is he going to let us walk him? Do you think he's going to put oh, up a show in the yes. kennel? Do you think he's going to growl and bark and stuff? You can take him right now. We're going to. Yes. I just want to know because listen, you might be surprised and I'm going to be very honest with you, sir. I, I, uh, if he's acting dumb, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell kinda, you everything. They kind of let him, uh, do kind of what he wants at the, at the pet. He's, he's very awesome. friendly with everybody at the pet. Perfect. At, at the, at, uh, at the vet. Okay, um, perfect. So we're going to see because, listen, the difference between the vet and us here is at the vet, there's probably a lot of dogs not as big as him. Here, we're full of dogs about yeah. as big as him. And some of them are pumped up, yes? Yeah. So we're going to make it happen. He's going to get to play with Maggie. He's going to get to play with the other dogs. I'm excited about it. Awesome. And then you're in Colleen, yes? Yes. Yeah. I'm excited to show you. So listen, please, I don't know how long it's going to take, okay. but it's going to happen. We can make all of your goals happen. I just don't know how much time, okay. but I'm going to tell you, today is the seed that you're planting. If you give me enough time to take care of it and nurture it, the harvest is gonna be amazing. I tell you the truth, yes? And if you're willing to make the drive out here, I'd like for him to stay right now, you know, seven to eight, 10 weeks, 
and then I'd like for him to come back once a year for at least a week. I won't charge you anything, sir. Okay. All right, just to keep him playing, because this is a monster dog, all right? And I'm very proud, and I, I know it's not my place to say it, but I'm very proud of what you've done with him. You've done a hell of a job on him, sir. Thank you. And I look forward to continuing that effort, yes? No, sir, please take it with you. Okay. Good, good. I thought I was recording. Cranberry, put your hand through the loop for the love of God. All right. Now just walk, don't, there you go, don't touch him. No, you don't have to do all that. We're trying to take the thing off him. All right, sir. We'll be right back out. Will you start getting your stuff ready? Right. And then we'll be out, yes? I'll let you know. You're going to get to watch this video maybe today. All right. All right. So we'll be right back out. Go ahead, Cranberry. Now we're just testing his courage. Oh, look, look, look. Testing his courage. Testing his courage, okay? That's perfectly all right. That's, per that's why I told you to put the loop through. Keep walking, Cranberry. That's perfectly all right. Keep walking. Good, 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 my love. Good, 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 my love. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, hold on. Give him some slack. Give him some slack. Give him some slack. Yeah, he's just nervous. Yes, sir. That's what I told you. Is, does he normally behave that way? When uh, I, I can walk him in if you want me to. Well, we might. We might. Okay. We're just waiting. So, so you, were you expecting that, sir? Yeah. Probably. You were? For the most okay. Part. Well, thank you yes. for telling us. But so you were expecting him to? He <laughs> will do that nervous. at the vet too. Yeah. It's just it's okay. a different place. There's a lot of noise. Okay. Okay. All right. Come here. All right. So I understand. Okay. So I see. I was thinking because he's been to so many places, he's just gonna walk in hard nerd. Yeah. But he got panicked. Look at his eyes. Okay. So he's a little stressed, okay? Now, I'm gonna try it, and then if it doesn't work, then we'll have Dad do it, okay? Okay. All right. But I'd rather see the problem with so look, you see his eyes. Yeah. So it's not that he's being aggressive, sir. He, hi, my love. He's just getting like in a hypnotized state, okay? Because he wants to tune out. He's scared. Yeah, he does like if somebody thing. heard gunshots for the first time and they're like panicking. Yeah, he does the same thing when like going to the car. He doesn't really like going to the car. And then oh, he does it. And then he'll. Get into the car okay okay so it's good to know that okay hi my love hi my love oh he's a little skittish huh he's a little jumpy all right so people know that from the start yeah 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 it's okay so i'm just de i'm just deep tuning so let me tell you something sir so right now all the jet all the talking that i'm doing is potentially if he loved me it would be encouraging him because it doesn't love me it's probably not but anything that you say right now sir he is taking as affirmation of his current state you see what i mean yeah. so it's imperative so like with me, if this is my dog, I would be looking at him through my peripheral vision. I wouldn't be focused on him otherwise. And then see touching him. So right there, if he's nervous, you just told him it's, you're, it's good to be nervous. Okay. So you need to abandon him. You need to shun him. So you see, he's going to get more confident with me because I'm not giving into those fears. So watch how I'm going to try it. Okay, Cranberry, I want you to hold the door open for me. Please. Good, my love. We'll see what's going to happen, okay? Good, my love. Handsome. Handsome. Good, my love. Good, my love. Hold on, Dad. Good, my love. Hold on, please. Good, my love. All right, all right, all right. All right. So I don't know him well enough, okay? Now I'm not trying to choke him. You see how he's choking? Give him some slack on the leash, please. Don't, don't. Come here, close the door for the love of God. The door, sir. The door needs to be open only when I'm bringing the dog in, obviously. We got to give him, we got to reset him, okay? Is there, is there, is it possible for Cranberry to grab the stuff from, is it in the back or the trunk or? Cranberry, will you try to get the stuff out of his dog food in his bed, please? We're going to have you walk him in and in there. Okay, hold on. Let him, let him, let him, let him relax. Because right now we're just going to stress him. So see, he may not want to eat the first day. So see, this is the thing. A lot of times dogs that have gone to vets and daycares before and boarding, they don't behave like this because they know that you're coming back. But he might also have developed for some reason separation anxiety. And may I tell you, on the ride over here, if you thought, was he anxious at all or was he just excited? No, he, he, it almost seemed like he sensed my feeling of not really wanting to. That's what I was about to say. So, so do you know what I mean? So then he's feeling that and then if you're talking to him or if you're petting him and he's sensing that, then you're promoting that, sir. Okay. You see what I mean? So a lot of times, like if I know like something, I'm gonna go through something with a dog and they're not gonna like it, I ignore them. I don't allow them to feel, uh, to encourage or promote that behavior, okay? All right, very good. Whenever you think he's ready, we'll start walking him in, okay? But give him a little time to kind of cool off. And again, he may not want to eat today, tomorrow, but he might not want to eat for three or four days. It's okay, he'll be fine. He's gonna love it here, man. Got a cranberry? Yes, sir. And he's afraid of that bed, correct? That's a good sign that he went potty for you, sir. All right, let me walk in here first, sir. Hold on. I gotta open everything up and push the stuff out of the way. So we don't slip. We just had a fight. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. 
I just had to dog protect this air bag on purpose. Okay, so we're gonna take him out over here. Somebody thought it was probably a little bit okay? Yeah? Right, come on in. Good quiet. Come on in. Alright, he's gonna come on. Good quiet. Good, good, good. Good. Awesome. So you trust him? Good. Good quiet, Hank. Hank, Hank. Man, listen, I'm happy to see you. Good. 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 Awesome, huh? Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Paul the bell so you'll be notified the very next time and the first time we take him out for training to a dog park. It's going to be fun, yeah? Bless you all. Look at that dog. <laughs> oh my God. Good, 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 good. That dog is big. So be angry, but sing not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are in kink in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold, but because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. Now that is going to the silence.